healthcare is a healing ministry. We often think of a healing ministry when we think of our care team members, like our doctors, practitioners, and nurses. But I want to expand your thoughts on this and call us to recognize that the sacred is around all of us. I hope we all get the opportunity to meet Pam Simmons in the Environmental Services Department. She has been working here at St. Bernard's for almost 20 years. Recently, she was completing her job duties by cleaning a waiting area in the hospital when she first made contact with a woman whose child was in the hospital for a number of days. Over the next few weeks, she provided warm blankets, towels, wash rags, and other items to the mother. Eventually, Pam quit seeing the mother around in the hallways, in the patient area, or even the elevator area. A little while later, one day while Pam was shopping here in town, a woman came running up to her down the aisle. And that was the mother of the child that she had met here at the hospital. The mother explained that her child had passed away, but she had never forgotten Pam. The mother used the words, Pam, you're my angel. Pam, you see, was part of that healing ministry here at St. Bernard's. We are all a part of the mission to provide that Christ-like healing ministry to the community. God uses each of us to help bring healing acts of mind, body, and soul. We are living our ministry here at St. Bernard's. These holy moments allow us to see the value of life and the presence of God in what we are doing, and that can change us. They are the acts of love that we do when we think no one notices. They're the kindness that we offer that goes beyond the checklist of our duties. They are the moments when we become the instrument of God's grace and catch a glimpse of the divine at work here at St. Bernard's. These holy moments are a personal experience that others easily relate to. They connect us to Jesus and the healing He provides. These holy moments show the depth of the care for our patients, our families, and our staff here. It wasn't just the warm blankets or the wash rags that Pam provided that comforted that mother. It was Pam's realization that she is part of Christ's mission. It was the comfort of a familiar face that Pam provided, an easiness to talk to, an openness for prayer that made this woman so drawn to Pam. Pam takes the time to greet all those that she sees in the hallways and brings and hopes to bring as much joy to others in any way that she can to help them with their length of stay here. Pam chats about anything and everything, whatever is on the patient's heart that day. Pam said she never knew the mother's name, but she impacted that mother's grief recovery with the care that she provided within her role in the Environmental Services Department. These special holy moments are filled with grace, inspiring us to go beyond ourselves in the service of another. Using our hands and our feet, we are doing God's work here at St. Bernard's. So I ask you, what have you witnessed here at St. Bernard's that has made you stop and think about the grace that God gives all of us so freely? Some of us might be the only non-clinical staff member that a patient sees today. How will our smile help them? When we greet people in the hallways, will they realize that they have the opportunity to ask for directions or any other help? I would like to end in prayer. Loving God, we ask your presence to be made tangible with all those that suffer in mind, body, and spirit. Give us the strength and courage to care for all your people, especially those who have anxious, anxious hearts. Help us to bring peace and comfort where it is needed. May we always recognize you at work among the care we provide in our roles here at St. Bernard's in sharing these holy moments with others so that all we know, so that all may know of your great love. Amen.